Hello there. Today we have something great on the workbench. It's a Tiktronix DPO4054 digital phosphor oscilloscope, 500 MHz bandwidth, 2.5 giga samples per second, four channels, costs uh, an arm and a leg usually, but I was really lucky to buy it cheap and not functioning. So let's try to bring it back to life. First of all, I'm trying to power it on. The unit blinks with three LEDs and the fan functions, but it doesn't do anything more. So it shouldn't be a power supply issue. This oscilloscope is a Linux-based device. That means we have an opportunity to check somehow, somewhere, how the U-boot booting process goes. So let's start with disassembling. Under the cover at the bottom of the device there is a diagnostics connector with a 3.3 volts UART which can be used to control the boot sequence of U-boot and to read the error messages. We need just three pins RXD, TXD and ground. I've made a custom ribbon cable to connect to my USB to UART adapter. Now let's switch the oscilloscope on and see what will happen. So here's our U-boot 1.1.4. CPU test is OK. Board test is OK. I2C ready. DRAM 128 MB flash. 64.5 n n n n n n n it seems like is DRAM problem it's a common issue of these oscilloscopes so let's go and fix it first of all we have to disassemble the oscilloscope
removing the main board there are four SDRAM chips on the main board I'm too lazy to find out which of them is damaged and the chips are rather cheap nowadays so I will replace four of them now it's time for Kepton tape and hot air. All four chips have been removed. Four new Isduram chips are soldered in place. Let's screw everything together. And now, the moment of truth.
So self-test passed, mission accomplished. Thank you for watching. Bye.